hand us the money right now because we are most popular than all of you girls of the Tiramit Bishvent Marley girls and the family gang mates, or else all 15 of you will be bleeding from the heads. We swear to God, this is the last warning. Well force us all you want, because our families said that we all still ain't paying a fortune. Why you may ask? Because Crystal and I are stars and our families are more richer than you three vile entitled delinquents, yeah. I agree with my bestie. We are making movies and entertainment because we all are popular than the three of you. Alright you sick bastard girls, if all 15 of you going to keep disobeying us teenagers next door, we are going to murder all 15 of you and your family members including your baby siblings. We hope your assholes rot in stupid hell and we evil teenagers next door are never going to see all of you in the whole society anymore. That goes for the other people in other realms as well. Now get ready to rot in hell you entitled bastard girls. Hey, why are all three of you trying to hurt the dish girls and the cheer girls for no reason? You'd better give us the reason right now. And just to let all 18 of you punk ass girls know, I have autism and I could cry like a motor car easily and say no fair. So we all have to force them to give us money because we are evil more than them and we all are the smartest, richest and... Um, excuse me, early and I are evil ourselves. And Mayomi is one of the Midnight Neeps who has her evil clone made by her when the Midnight Neeps pretended to be turned evil just like the cheer girls. So that's why the Midnight Neeps cauldrons made their counterparts of themselves evil just like the cheer girls evil counterparts. What on earth does that even mean you punk ass wipeouts? I Zabel, you're Liam Naomi. Wait, look, um, we cannot. You know what? No! Just say that you psychopathic entitled delinquents. We've been doing some thinking lately, and we're honestly regretting on our choice to be friends with you. We mean, you guys were the most popular, smartest and richest men in town that Orion always uses autism as an excuse and whines and cries like a motor car like us. You guys always taught us wrong from right and you guys turned both of us as well as my friends and everyone into monsters. As well as that, thanks to your bad teachings on making our behaviors terrible, we both have lost to everything and it's all because of the three of you entitled bastard delinquents. On top of all of that, I say well and I can't believe we were friends with the show those racist human beings like the three of you punks. The three of you made both of us manipulative, assertive, rude, obnoxious, trashy and many other bad adjectives. So, in conclusion, we're now cutting ties with all three of you and any associate of yours permanently. What? No. Isabel, who really annoyed at me, please don't cut ties with us and replace the three of us with the girls along with the cultural squad and the Tyler crew. Who's going to be replacing both of you now because the two of you are permanently leaving the teenagers next door for good, and who's going to be the next entitled delinquents who will be joining us in replacement of the two of you? Jackasses, we don't need no friends when we got all of them right with us. Also, your attention-seeking behavior doesn't have any of this stuff or heart to get any of your friends, because this is not showing both Isabel and Early what a real friend is in our point of view. So, we have no other choice to cut ties with all three of you and have all three of you bastards with no life replaced by the cheer girls, the Molly gang and other great gang members permanently. Now we would highly suggest all three of you to get out of our sights forever. <coughs> Ryan. I can't believe you had the audacity to force the dish girls and the cheer girls of the one sentimental group to hand them the money when they specifically refused to. How many times do I have to tell you right now, stop pestering the dish girls? You know what? You're granted for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now. No! Andrew. How dare you force the dish girls and the cheer girls of the one sentimental group to hand them the money when they specifically refused to? How many times do I have to tell you right now, stop pestering the dish girls? You know what? You're grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now. Wow. Ethan. How dare you force the dish girls and the cheer girls of the one sentimental group to hand them the money when they specifically refuse to? How many times do I have to tell you right now? Stop pestering the dish girls. You know what? You're grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now. Daisy, Isabel, 
Samantha, Hannah, Maria, Penelope, Victoria, Ariana, Cecile, Crystal, Sakura, Yui, Ichika, Melody, and Liana, Early, Isabel and I are 1000% sorry. We should have listened to all of you. And Maria, Penelope, Victoria, Ariana, Cecile, Crystal, Sakura, Yui, Ichika, Melody, and Liana, we Midnight Meeps all should have listened to all of you and accepted you as our best friends and rivals in the first place. It's not your fault Naomi, Early and Isabel. Andrew, Orion and Ethan tried to manipulate all of us as well as the cheer girls and the other gang members and our family members as well. I mean, those guys will have to pay the ultimate price by giving them more Warren-style punishments in the first place. We should have minded our own businesses in the first place. And besides, we are much better having our boyfriends on the bright side, but not those three teenagers next door members anymore. And I know this is getting over with, but Ryan tried to have me as my new boyfriend when I said no to him. I mean, he has gone mentally insane on us dish girls like that. Because we all are much better than the teenagers next door like these three bastards for example in that matter. We all have to agree what the dish girls have said. Besides, our evil clones are evil, but that doesn't change the fact that us cheer girls can be good, we cheer girls wanted to apologize to the dish girls for everything we all did in the first place. Same here. And Naomi, we cheer girls are really sorry that we messed everything up back in 2022. What we all did was absolutely wrong and there's no doubt about it anymore. We cheer girls wanted to play the roles of bad girls in this upcoming movie that we all wrote is original. That's all. You know something Penelope, I have to agree with you. We all wrote it as a team back in 2022 when you and your cheer friends played as bad villains, and we meeps are really proud of you for playing as the roles of the bad girls. And you know something Naomi, when we have our rough times like this, we all know that two wrongs don't make a right, and two rights don't make a wrong. My family and Crystal's families are rich because Crystal, her sisters and I are in the entertainment industry, and we all get paid for our work in movies, television and even music. So, if you all want to see the cheer slash sweet slash destiny girls get karma, we all make a great team. Not to mention that Penelope, Ariana, Crystal and I are also going to star in a movie that involves three sisters and their cousin find true love. I gave the Dish Girls a copy of our latest DVD called Patty and Florence in the Case of the Missing Link, starring my bestie and I as Patty and Florence. That's great Crystal. Keep up the good work on your industry so that you can get a hard work job well done along with your bestie. And on top of it Naomi, we can all go to the mall and celebrate Isabel and early improving their behaviors without the teenagers next door's Andrew, Ethan and Orion for good and even our great reunion together along with the Dish Girls and the other gang groups as well. I love it Penelope. Together, you and us Dish Girls will keep the new school running for good. And Early and Isabel, both of you will be graduating the Cheer Meet Vintage Molly Girls and the Family Gang Mate School for Gifted and Reform Troublemakers as of now. Congratulations Early and Isabel. Thanks girls. All of you are the best. Now let's go and celebrate Andrew's, Ethan's and Orion's demise for good. Well what are we all waiting for, let's get going. We hope this is the final time we get to see the three vile bastards before we put an end to the three of them forever.